back when I was a kid, I used to watch Nick Arcade on Nickelodeon, and there was a part of the show where the contestant had to beat a certain score or a certain part of a video game in a time limit. One game I remember seeing on there is Monster in My Pocket, which was developed and published by Konami. It was released on the NES in 1992. It only released on that console. Now, the game is also known as Batman and Flash in Asia, but that is basically a ROM hack where the playable characters are replaced with Batman and the Flash. At a later time, maybe I'll check that game out. Monster in My Pocket is actually a toy line that was released by Matchbox in 1989, and they were small, soft plastic figures that represent monsters. Outside of the video game, there were trading cards, comic books, books, a board game, an animated special, clothing, stickers, and more. The story of the game goes like this. The evil warlock wants to take over the world. He calls his fellow monsters to join him, but many refuse and tell him to go fuck himself. I don't know if they actually said that, but it would be funny if they did. After casting a shrinking spell, which backfires and shrinks down all the monsters around him, they are then transported to different homes in Los Angeles. You play as either the vampire or the monster, which looks like Frankenstein, and you must stop the evil warlock while battling through his hench monsters, and you will go through streets, sewers, a construction area, a Japanese garden, and more. As you can see the game is a simple platformer with beat em up aspects where you punch enemies to kill them and you will come across a nice variety of enemies and bosses in each level which is pretty damn cool. The enemies come from different directions and some will even come from the air and dive bomb at you so you must time your movement, jumps and attacks just right. There are seven stages you will go through and the bosses are spring Jack, Bigfoot, Kraken, Gremlin, Medusa, Warlock and Warlock Uber. The enemies range from Behemoth, Beasts, Ghosts, Baba Yaga, Cerebus, Hunchback, Harpy, Hobgoblin, Goblins, Ogres, Chimeras, Cyclops, Goblins, and more. If you have a friend over, you can play co-op, which will help out a lot when you have many enemies on the screen. The graphics for Monster in My Pocket on the NES are not bad. Granted, this is a Konami game, and they knew how to make a game look really good. The character sprites are nice, the enemies look good, same with the bosses. The game is colorful, and the level designs are very well, but there is a lot of flickering and even some slight slowdowns when you get a bunch of monsters on screen. I will say this, it's not game-breaking for me. The music is fucking awesome, well-composed, sounds good, a bit on the catchy side. Each level has its own music. It sounds like something you would hear in a Konami game. It has that certain sound to it, and I enjoy it a lot. The sound effects are good. 8-bit sounds from the fighting noises, the enemies, and so on. Nothing to complain about here. The controls? Very simple to understand. Moving around is easy. Attacking and jumping is pretty simple and quite responsive. Hell, you can even double jump in this game, which will help you to get to higher sections since you are pretty much shrunk down, and you're in like a home environment or in the sewers or whatever. Very happy with how this game handles. Monster in My Pocket is a fun platformer slash beat up if you can even call it a beat up I personally can because it has that aspect to it. Either way, it's a great game, well-developed. Then again, around this time, Konami knew what the hell they were doing. The graphics are nice looking, other than the little bit of flickering, and that's just a small complaint. The music is awesome, the sound effects are good, and the controls I enjoy a lot. The game is surprisingly not extremely difficult. Some parts here and there might be a little tough, and I figured it would be a tough game. Even when you get swarmed with enemies, you just have to time your attacks and jumping just right. Now, if you want to pick this game up, it's 43% rare, and I've seen copies here and there at a local game store, but this was around 4 or 5 years ago. Prices on eBay range from $39.95, $49.95, $47.29, $274.95 for a complete copy, $2,000 for a factory sealed graded version, and some of these prices are fucking ridiculous. I did see one for $25.98 and $29.99, which isn't too bad, but if you can find it under $25, you might be lucky, but holy shit, these prices suck a fat donkey dick. At this point, just emulate. Sadly, there was no other games featuring Monster in My Pocket. There was nothing on the Super Nintendo or anything, and I don't think Monster in My Pocket is still around. There was supposed to be a CGI animated series in 2003, but I don't think that ever was picked up. And it's a damn shame that this was just a one-and-done game, because it is very fun. But when something dies out, especially if it's a brand name type of thing, there isn't much you can really do. I hope you enjoyed this review of Monster in My Pocket on the NES. Thanks for watching.